Hey guys, this is Srini and uh, let me provide you a quick warning or a note about parallelization during your grid search for hyperparameters, right? I mean, you're performing a grid search, meaning you're going through uh, your hyperparameters and then trying to find out what the right values of each hyperparameters are for the type of problem you're working uh, with, whether it is regular machine learning or neural networks. The, the warning is about uh, one little thing. Let's actually jump into the code so I can tell you exactly what the warning is about, okay? So um, here is the code, okay? And what we are trying to uh, span here is in this example, again, I'll go through this code in the next video. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, make that a separate thing. But uh, anytime you're actually doing your grid search, okay, you're basically uh, defining your dictionaries for, okay, what is the what are the parameters? In this example, learning rate and momentum, and these are the uh, values I want to go through. And if you have five others, that's a that's a lot of things. That's a lot of times you're fitting a model, okay? Uh, which means it's very useful for you to parallelize this. And uh, this grid search CV has one of the uh, uh, parameters that you can define here is the number of jobs, okay? By default, this is set to one, which means it only number of jobs is, I think it uses job libs in the background. So number of jobs is number of CPUs that you want it to use to do this task. By default, if you don't define it, it's just one. That means no matter how many CPUs your system has, it's only using one. Um, the documentation refers to using minus one. If you put number of jobs equal to minus one, then uh, it's going to use all the CPUs that you actually have. I did this and uh, it hangs your system. At least it did that on two different systems of mine. So maybe on Linux, it's a different behavior, but on Windows, this is exactly what happened. So I would not do minus one. The documentation also mentions that if you put minus two, then it is basically number of job, number of CPUs that you actually have. Uh, uh, plus one, minus one. That means number of, uh, sorry, plus one, minus two. That means it leaves one CPU open to do other tasks. If you put minus three, it leaves two CPUs open. So it takes maximum. For some reason that didn't work out on my system. It seems to hang no matter what I do. The only thing that actually worked is if I put number of jobs equals to how many ever CPU, uh, uh, you know, CPUs I would like it to use. So how do you define this? On my laptop, I actually got four. So I can define like two, so it does the parallelization between these two. It's very important to parallelize, I should say. Otherwise, you'll just, it takes forever you know, to go through all of these parameters unless you only have a handful of these. So uh, I put 16, this is my uh, very old desktop from five years ago, but it was very good. Not, I mean, it still is good, GPU is old, but if I open my uh, task manager, in fact, let's go back to the default view, right? So this is how it looks like. When you open your uh, task manager, you have your processes, you have everything, go to performance and CPU, and you see I have uh, GPUs right there too, old, but still fine. Right click on the CPU, change graph to low logical processors. It shows you how many logical processors you actually have, and uh, this one has 32 logical processors. Great, right? So uh, now I'm only assigning, let's minimize this, 16 of those. So I can leave the remaining 16 to record this video, for example, and to do other tasks that it needs to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this so you can see. Again, I'll go through the code in the next video. Starting next tutorial, let's actually see how to perform these. But for now, I just want to make sure I give you this warning. So let's fire up this and you will see how the parallelization happens. It should use 16 of this. That doesn't necessarily mean you only see activity in 16 of this. It just divides this into uh, these 16. So if you look at utilization, it should probably go up to 75 to 80% because I'm also using this to record this video. So right now, I guess it's still working with uh, the data itself getting the data ready, but you'll see everything jump up as soon as it hits those uh, 16 CPUs or, you know, number of jobs equals to 16 in a second. Okay, so there you go. I think it hit right there. And then this is pretty fast. I mean, it's it's it, it did this task pretty <laughs> quickly, as you can see, but then the utilization went up to like 70% or something, okay? Now, uh, in the upcoming tutorials, again, we'll actually span a wider space, but you can see how it kind of spiked up. And it does help to have 16 of these. If you just do this uh, on one, it probably takes uh, 15, 16 times longer, right? So anyway, so uh, this is the warning. 
do not put minus one because it takes all of your CPUs and it doesn't even give you sometimes uh, the mouse movement to stop it. You have to hard stop and then it's not good. Okay, so I hope you learned something new. And again, starting next tutorial, let's go ahead and uh, um, tune some of our parameters and go through the code line by line so you understand exactly what's going on. Thank you very much. And let's meet in the next tutorial. Subscribe, please subscribe. Thank you.